Hi everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. My name is Janine. I'm a spiritual medium. And today's energy and uh, more of a card reading messages from the angels today. So they really wanted me to share um, because I guess a lot of people might be feeling a little uh, melancholy is what I'm hearing. So and we're going into a new year. So if a lot of you are not feeling this yet. It's like they want you to start, um, and some of you may already feel this energy, like you really got to start moving forward, like, you know, start doing something. Um, they're saying start doing research, you know, like for me, I'm getting um, inclinations, I'm getting intuition edges on what to do and what to, you know, how to move forward and things like that. And so what I'm really hearing, start doing the research, start getting into looking into what is it you want to achieve going forward if you want to be a reiki healer you know what do you got to do to be a reiki healer what kind of training do you need um what schools are out there what are the good mentors you know things like that so they really want you to start doing the, the research getting yourself um going forward because we're going into a new year we're going into the five days so they really want us to start learning as much as we can, start implementing a lot of this as much as we can so we can start moving forward. It's like I keep hearing around March 13th, and I think that's because the shadow aspects of Mercury retrograde is going to be uh, leaving, I think, by the end of this month or, so, or like another week or so. But like I th is, we're still going to have shadow aspects of Mercury retrograde. So I'm hearing like around March 13th, 3, 13th, something like that, is when we're going to really start moving forward and things are going to start showing um, more signs of more signs of enlightenment I'm hearing more signs of uh, 5d going heart space really staying out of your mind so on that note they're also saying to you know really start exercising start walking getting that root really grounded um, getting your your energy grounded and knowing what your energy feels like in your own center to really pull back especially if you're an empath we really got to like learn to not feel everybody else's energy and so they're really saying they really want you to really sit and meditate get yourself mind quiet no thinking about the past or anything just staying in the moment really get heart centered really bring it down to the heart you know don't be up in here don't let the monkey mind keep going on so be in the heart center they really want us to get grounded. Start working on the lower three chakras. You know, working on those energy centers will help you to get more uh, grounded with Mother Earth, more with uh, Gaia, uh, Source God, and you'll start receiving information. Um, the other thing is, I was getting uh, research ideas. It's really time, yeah, like time to start creating your life. Um, yeah, okay, so the same thing. Okay, so is everything I already talked about, I made notes so I wouldn't forget. So the card reading I got for us this morning was, and I kept seeing it on the, um, the energy of this, we, we're receiving a lot of healing. We are getting a lot of healing into our energy centers, and that's what all the Schumann resonance is going on for too is a lot of it is acclimating us and getting us ready for the next level so if you're shifting a lot of old uh, beliefs and um, really not living in the past really staying in the moment you're really going to start moving forward so we are having a lot of healing done around us and Raphael's really Archangel Raphael's really helping us and really shedding light and clarity on where we need to move forward so the card we got was King of Raphael we got 15 decision and then we got three of Raphael. So in this one, in the energy of for today, is that I am seeing, hold on, let me get all this straight again. <laughs> so the King of Raphael says, yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passion. So it totally follows into what I'm saying about, and the energy I was feeling was that it's time to really start getting creative. We're getting inspiration, we're getting ideas. So now it's time to start researching that. Start um, delving into it. If you're getting like a little inspiration, like for me, I'm getting um, coaching. Like maybe I should do one-on-one -on -one coachings and you know, offering you know once a week free readings or something you know to help you along. But you know, I've already helped a couple other people with their awakening process and I realized, you know, hmm, maybe I should do something with this. So, you know, I'm looking into it. I'm trying to do some research. So same thing. If you're getting any kind of inspiration, any ideas, 
any creative outlets of coming forward, you know, start looking into it, start researching it. Um, and then we got the next card was decision 15. And on this one, it says, release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox, unnecessary worry based on the lack of self-confidence. So in this one, I'm definitely seeing that our minds is what's keeping us trapped. And once we let go of our minds and really get centered in our hearts, you know, follow your intuition, um, you know, really take care of yourself, you know, start eating better, you know, need to detox. So maybe you're drinking too much or maybe you're eating too many packaged foods or fast foods, you know, whatever it is. But they're saying to really start detoxing yourself so that you can start receiving messages. You can set yourself free. It's only our minds that are keeping us trapped. So what they're really saying is that, you know, and then also unnecessary worry based on, you know, lack of self-confidence. So if you don't have enough confidence in your skill, you're not going to feel like you have uh, the ability to move forward. You're going to have feel like you have the, the feeling of lack of. So they're really saying to detox your body. You know, the only need that we really got to do to be free is to free your minds. To really, you know, to, to set those birds free is like, you know, she's releasing the birds from the cage. So the only thing that really needs to be released is what we're holding back from ourselves. You know, how are you keeping yourself trapped in your own mind that you making you think that you can't move forward? And then the last card we got was three of Raphael. And it says reasons to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. So on this one, I'm hearing, you know, there's a lot to be uh, to celebrate for. There's a lot of blessings coming in. Um, there may be a news of a, a birth or pregnancy. Um, maybe somebody's getting married that you know of, you know, it's like happy announcements. But I'm also hearing that, you know, you have a great close of friends. You know, maybe you need to find more close network friends that you can, you know, go to that feels like you can talk to. Um, that makes you feel like you're not going crazy, basically. <laughs> There's somebody who thinks like you do or who somebody who's going through the awakening as well. But I feel like in this one is like there's... Um, there's a coming in of friends that's going to make you feel like a celebration. Like you don't feel like you're not so alone in this whole thing. And that you're going to, there's like a reasons to celebrate. There's a lot of good things, the reasons for celebrate. And that also what I'm hearing is to stay in the act of um, the act of gratitude. Because when you're in the state of gratitude, that's when so many more blessings come in the, your, your way and into your experience and into your world. Um, but I feel like this is coming in maybe in a couple of three days, maybe. Because I feel like there's something the good news is coming in, and that's a, it's going to give you a reason to celebrate. Um, maybe it's more you're going to find another friend that's going to make you feel more connected to them, or you know you're not going to feel like you're so in this journey alone. So the decision you want to do is get out of your head, get out, make that decision to change how you think, how you change your vibration, how you move forward, and then um, you know yes, it's safe to trust the the intuition that you're getting. It's safe to trust the messages that you need to, um, that you're hearing to help you to move forward. You know, start researching. That's what I was getting this morning. You know, do that research. Getting yourself, getting yourself ready so when the three weeks is ready or when Mercury retrograde is ending, you have a little more of a plan on what to do to move forward. Because right now, you don't want to do anything when Mercury is retrograde, so you want to wait. So get yourself prepared. Get yourself to move forward. Um, I think that was it. They're saying good job. Okay. <laughs> so I hope you guys resonate. And uh, if you if you have any questions, please, you know, leave me a comment or, you know, whatever you want to do. And then I'll get back to you. So I'll see you guys on the next video. And you'll have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye.